funny shaped scars. Oh, sure, maybe it was painful when they got them, but looking back, you gotta laugh. <laughs> My first guest on Funny Shape Scar will be none other than Mr. Doug McLean. Now, let me give you a little background on Mr. McLean. Mr. McLean doesn't get out much. And so for fun, he likes to sit around at night and carve things onto his body. <laughs> Just people's initials, phone numbers, things like that. Well, he's got some very funny scars that tell of his whole personal life. Reading Mr. McLean is like reading a book. Can you please welcome <laughs> Mr. Doug McLean? been carved on yourself for how long? Uh, mm, 12 years and 6 months. Oh, you got it exactly. Well, uh, well, what caused you 12 years and 6 months ago to start taking a knife and wiping away a parts of your body? Well, I've had this test in elementary trigonometry. <laughs> I was afraid I was going to fail it. Uh -huh. And I didn't want to write an ink because I was afraid I'd wash it off the next morning. Right. So I thought, what would be more indelible than ink? And I just I picked up a table knife and I began scratching in all the answers. You want to see it? If I got it right here. Wait. Uh, well, you want to see the answers? Not particularly. Not sure. I'm pretty positive. I Well, what it depends. Is that long division? <laughs> Encyclopedia Britannica to get through uh, a test I had in college, but yeah, I, now I your car then? my right arm. No. <laughs> uh, gang, gangrene. Gangrene. Yes. <laughs> I just woke up one morning and just brought it right off. <laughs> it stayed in bed and I didn't. <laughs> it really started stinging when the shower water hit it. That's what I know. <laughs> I found a very powerful vocation. I read myself out as a, as a phone table memo pad. <laughs> <laughs> I made quite a bit of good money at it. I mean, I cleared six figures last year. I was <laughs> health insurance. And let me guess, you do your own taxes. Because I can see a little W4 right there. <laughs> oh, no, that's for my accountant. No, oh, he said I could save if he didn't have to use paper. So oh, I said, well, okay. just jump in, go ahead. <laughs> Everybody else does. <laughs> include imitating funny scars she has seen. No matter what the scar, Miss Neal, nutty as she is, can imitate it with her face. Oh yeah, I 
can do some animal work. Well, uh, no, no. What kind of animal scars do you do? Kitten C-sections. I can do kitten C-sections. <laughs> <laughs> Who do we want to see a kitten C-section? Yeah. Yeah. I got one you can't imitate. Well, I carved the entire periodic table on my right hip, and I slipped. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Well, I slipped and fell and got a carpet for now. It's just a big round pass. I think that looks good. I think I can work with that. You want to see it? No, 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 we don't. Thank you. Thank you very much. Damn! When am I going to get to take my pants off on national TV? Move down, Miss Neal, because it's time for our next guest. Our next guest is Mr. Kyle Mowry. An amazing man, Mr. Kyle Maori, who deals with psychic energy. <laughs> Mr. Maori can tell you all about you simply by reading the funny scars on your body. Like me. Will you please welcome Mr. Kyle Maori? Good to see you, Mr. Riley. Uh, uh, Shannon Riley, uh, 23 years old, is at Charlotte. All right! There you go. Bob. There we go. Bob <laughs> uh, <Bob Bordello>. <laughs> <laughs> I like collars. Anyway, <laughs> tell me how you read Scar and can get the psychic impression. Is that correct? Yes, I can. <laughs> For a minute, I thought you were with us, Mr. Mom. No, I was somewhere else with uh, Scar. It's long gone by now. <laughs> Find yeah. Mr. McLean. Yeah. I'm I'm more more than happy to read him. Can I age, can I interest you in the logarithmic table? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm, 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 I'm a good math, but would uh, you read it over and over again for me? <laughs> <laughs> right, well, maybe, maybe, maybe let's stick with something on the shoulder blade. Oh, yeah. First, I will put on my mask. <laughs> <left. laughs> oh, I can actually see the scar because once you see the scar, you can often tell how it got there. It's hard to put a mask on over glass. Oh, uh, no, it's, it's quite simple. All right. It's perfect. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, please go there and turn around. Where have you got that stuff? Uh, wait a minute, I'm getting a reading here. Yes. This was carved with a pencil, number three, I believe, in 1974. And the, uh, I didn't quite get the grade. It was at school. And it was a English paper about Shakespeare. Is that true, Mr. McLean? Amazing! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> you saw Amazon. Very impressive. Very impressive. I get a little bit when I take this off really fast. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sit down. There you are. Well, Mr. Murray, has, has any of this led to anything negative in your own life? Uh, people not wanting you to read their scars, for instance? Uh, no! Not actually! <coughs> I did try to read a scar on this person's butt walking down... Uh, oh, did it look like this? Jump! That's it! <laughs> Returning zits. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.